Cocktail time? It's cocktail time. It's cocktail I think we time. need to uh, mix up the cocktail and uh, maybe a even make this a bonus at some point. Hmm? Can I have a sip of one more, a little Absolutely. bit more though? Here, you want to pour it? Here you go, bro. Thank you, sir. You want, uh, you just you just tell me when. Uh, no, I'm trusting you. You just make the decision. I got a DD, so. There you go. That worked. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, have you guys heard That's that we do? Show. Yeah. We Check also that do. Out. That looks good. That we also do reviews on the cocktails. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. I wasn't sure. We've listened to a few. We've never uh, participated in one. Before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So tell us what we're doing wrong. I can imagine. Hey, and Tim was wondering, um, why do you freeze your coop, or what happens if you don't well, freeze your coop? Clearly, you're a poop. Wondering. Yeah, don't be a poop. Freeze your coop. Yeah, Tim. Yeah. Duh. Oh, sorry. Uh, I should have known. Yeah, Wait, get a hold. No, well, you probably you'd never know if you don't watch any uh, the, the Thirsty Whale <laughs> uh, videos. Yeah, he. The, it's a guy on TikTok or you know YouTube, whatever. He, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, he. Uh, uh, he's a a cocktail fucking genius. He is. And uh, he's he's got all kinds he's of awesome crackpot you know wackadoodle sayings that he's he says. Funny. Use fresh citrus. Or your mom sucks. Your mom, <laughs> mom lives under a bridge with a troll. Yeah, something like that. Or like um, he'll he'll add like a couple drops of saline to make it pop. Yeah, how do you he does that? How do you add a depth of field to a photo that you? Portrait, always says, "Don't be a poop, freeze your coop." Gotcha. Okay, I was like, "How in the world?" Yeah, look at that. I'm happy with that. Looks good. Okay. Let's get to this cocktail, though. Yeah. Yeah. This cocktail. Uh, oh, I've never heard of uh, this cocktail before. I've, I've I've heard about it here and there. I've never had one. In fact, I use this as my excuse to buy the Riggers Cafe Amora, mm -hmm. which is their uh, coffee liqueur, which I found out uh, that... The coffee is roasted here in Kansas City. At the roastery? It's not the roastery. No. It's, it's someone else. Uh, they roast the coffee. They put it in their whiskey barrels to age it. Oh, wow. Okay. And then go from there. Yeah, so super cool. And uh, we made this up with the Russell's Tenure. A couple dashes of orange bitters. And then the flamed orange peel that I just did a uh, little slit to... Uh, Perch it on the edge of our glass. And you expressed it over flame, mm -hmm. so it kind of made a um, little fireball action happen. Yeah, I have still... Not fireball the gimmick whiskey. Right, right. Cinnamon <laughs> horseshit whiskey. I have yet to get a orange flame like I've seen in so many yeah. videos. I don't know. It, it, it all comes down to the, 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 the peel itself, how much oils and... Uh, hydration, I guess, is yeah, in that. Yeah, I wonder peel. if you gotta like study the oranges that you're picking up. Maybe like which one looks like it's got a yeah. juicier peel. I, I don't know. Th these were f fresh picks. I did not put them in the the fridge because I have noticed that af if the citrus sits in the fridge for a while and it gets nice and cold, it does not express the. Uh, oils as much as it does if, if it's room temperature so i brought them home brought them right down here that way they would be good in room temperature that so. probably has a lot to do with making it making it flame up a little yep. bit yep cheers sirs yes the revolver the revolver cheers cross state line cheers. Cheers. Theirs look darker ours do look darker it probably has to do with our liqueur maybe our liqueur is darker huh maybe oh all right that's nice we do see some of the uh, Riegers products here in mm -hmm. in Knox Vegas. Awesome! But we we went with um, Flor de Cana Espresso Coffee Liqueur. Okay, that's a cool looking bottle. It came from the cute guy in Oak Ridge, as Faith likes to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how everyone in town knows them. Oh, you got that from the cute guy at the liquor store in Oak Ridge? <laughs> yeah, that's how you know. So a little bit of information that I pulled on this, uh, the Revolver. The credit for this exceptional drink goes to mixologist and bartender John Santer, who first stirred up what? I was just laughing because, like, when you just, like, 
She, she talked about the cute guy, and we just like just moved straight past yeah, right. that thing. I'm sorry. Like, oh, no, well, there's just, nothing left I to say. I, to just, I know, but like, it just felt like there was a part where it's like I do. I, like in my head, I had more questions than answers of like. Right. And my concern was there was more than one cute guy, and everybody was just thinking that. Like, oh no. Right. Yeah, like what no. if you? What if Everyone you go knows. Up, even Tim. What if you go there, up and you? So there's only one cute guy. In Oak Ridge. In the Oak Ridge liquor store. Yeah. I, I'd move through that town, like, process of elimination. I'd be like, listen, um, welcome to Tennessee, motherfucker, and then one less cute guy. Right. Like, yeah. I'd be yeah. the apex cute guy in that so, town. So, like, you could, like, in our in our whole, like... That's your job, Tennessee. In our whole city slickers <laughs> idea, uh-huh. like, you just become a marshal and just start f- forbidding... Laying down the law. Like, none of All these... Right. No more cute no guys. No more in this town. Yeah, no more cute yeah. guys in yeah. any of these. Oh, you're cute. There can be more. Now, in fairness, there can be more cute guys, but none of them could be V. We're in liquor stores. In Oak Ridge. In Oak Ridge. So maybe I could run off the ugly guys. That narrows it down. Yeah. I don't know. Now we know where to look. Yeah. Yeah. Cute guy, anyway. The, the cute guy, the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> It is weird yeah. though, because like Oak Dentist, Ridge is like a, I don't lit. know a good yeah. twenty Scarf thirty minutes free, away, but people know the, people the know liquor store. Who guy. we're talking about? Yeah. I don't know what his name is, but sorry, Wayne. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. No, I, it's all right. I just was. I just wanted to see. I just looked over yeah. and I I just looked o- I looked over and I, you're like you're like yeah and just went straight in and I just like I felt like I was like the cute guy. I was like what. Mm-hmm. Like I, may, maybe well, it's the, maybe it's the barometer of like what does this cute guy look like? It, I like, mean, it's not even all that cute. So like, but, so in a so in a in a in a world full of not cute guys, like it's just like, hey, this is the best guy that we got. <laughs> like, we might as well call him. It the might cute be guy. the best guy that Oak Ridge has. I don't know. Man, you like I hope We've this. We've kind of gone off the, the rail too. I hope the cute guy is not listening to this podcast because he <laughs> went from he, he went from I'm the cute guy like he was like walking oh, around. He hey guys, did you listen to this podcast? I'm the cute guy. Yeah, I'm the cute guy of this. I hope. And he, then he's like, I'm the best of the bunch that you got. <laughs> like uh-huh. just went straight to like. <laughs> as he good. Nest. He at a bird. That didn't last that long for that guy. Poor guy. Poor guy. <laughs> it's a great story. Squeaks that. I mean, store. Nose. That's like. Out. <laughs> that's that's like your mom. That's, that's like that's Henry all day long. <laughs> that's like your mom. Picks his nose a, and flings him at birds. I got a booger for you. Oh, that's like man. your mom, like walking up. You're like she's like, look at my little cutie. Look at my handsome. And then you're like, you're like, you're like, mom, am I really cute? And you, she's like. I'm gonna you're tell cute. Him. You're cute for you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you're cute for you. Right. It's like, uh, like. Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna Mom. have to unpack that with the therapist when I get older. Right. Like that's gonna be some, some things. Oh. Okay, anyway. Talk so, to us about this re- revolver, since your sister threw us off track with her cute guy. Well. I wait. I threw us off, off track. I'm pretty sure Chandler mm, threw us whoa, off. Whoa, 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 whoa! Aka the Kansas City kid. Kansas City kid. <laughs> Kansas City kid. Kansas City kid. Yeah, kid. Blame, blame it on the Kansas City kid. <laughs> the credit for this exceptional drink goes to the goes to mixologist and bartender John Santer, mm. who first stirred it up at the Bourbon and Branch Speakeasy style bar in San Francisco, California. In the late 1990s. Okay, so it's not so even this that is old. A, this is a yeah new cocktail. A smooth, <laughs> smooth. <laughs> on the classic Manhattan template. The bourbon-based drink has a kick of caffeine and amazing depth of flavor with coffee liqueur replacing sweet vermouth. Mm-hmm. The name Revolver is said to be a nod to the rotating cylinder of a firearm which is echoed in the swirl of the coffee liqueur in the glass. The drink has since become a popular cocktail in bars and restaurants around the world, and it is a top choice for cocktail enthusiasts who enjoy the rich, smoky flavor of bourbon and coffee. Crazy. I like it because um, it smells citrus I'm on really, the nose. I'm really surprised with just a couple uh, dashes of the orange bitters mm-hmm. and then that flamed... Uh, orange garnish 
really gives it a lot of orange citrus mm-hmm. flavor. Yeah. And it's it's bourbon forward. Yeah. Which is what we look for in a cocktail. We want we want the bourbon that we're using to shine. Mm-hmm. That's what gets the spotlight. Everything else is a background dancer throwing jazz hands. Jazz hands. It's pretty light. Like it's it is not light. it is light. Yeah. yeah. It's not punchy at all. And the coffee doesn't even come in until later mm-hmm. on the finish for me. Mm-hmm. One of the recipes I found talked about this being a great into the evening, kind of a, a, a night oh, yeah. type I of see a that. cocktail. Mm-hmm. And I don't disagree with that, but I think uh, when we first started talking about the revolver, you were like, bullshit, that's a breakfast whiskey. <laughs> breakfast whiskey. <laughs> a breakfast cocktail. <laughs> Um, yeah, Tim's? because it's got citrus and, and it's coffee. got coffee in it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, after after tasting it, it doesn't taste like breakfast. It's like you breakfast. said, it's like a nightcap, it's an no. evening thing. Like after work, after dinner. Tennessee hates it. After never. After <laughs> never. Wow. Never. I'm not a fan. There's a, a bitterness. Um, it's a hard drink for me. I'm I'm, oh. I'm not a fan of it. Okay. A bitterness the on the palate. Yeah, the the nose, I, I don't know if it's the way that orange was expressed, but it's all citrus on the nose for mm. me. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's two, I think. But the uh, the palate, there's there's a drying and a bitterness. Do you think it could be the coffee liqueur we're using? Maybe it would be different. It could be. Different... I, I don't know that I've tried that on its own, but it's this is not a cocktail how, I would. How do you feel about a Manhattan? They're all right. Yeah, I'm okay with them. Take Tim this, also doesn't like coffee. Take this glass and try it on its own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you don't like coffee at all. Right. I mean, I'm not a big coffee drinker, no. Def- definitely not. Okay. Um, He's going for it. Dear listener, he just took a swig of the coffee on liqueur. It, on its own, the coffee liqueur is fine. I'm thinking oh, about doing okay. that myself, honestly. So, I I mean, I'm, I'm kind of with him. Like, I mean, I think that it's... I mean, I've had drinks like this before. It's not like my wheelhouse because I think the bitterness is like, mm, like it just kind of does that. I can see that. It's not for everybody. But like I also, it's, when I have drinks like this, it's a palate that like I'm like, Maybe I'm missing something. Like may- maybe like I'm just missing the realm of like this mm-hmm. is like what I should be at with my palate, and I'm like this sucks. My question is: in the late you said late 1990s, what mm-hmm. music or what was happening in their life that they were like I should make this drink? New metal. New metal was happening. <laughs> oh, in San Francisco, you had corn. You had Limp Biscuit, Disturbed. Mud vein. See, yep, mud vein. I, I was thinking the regulators mounding up with I, their revolvers. I, I, was, I was going Warren G. I was going Rage Against the Machine with listen, their revolvers. Rage. Yeah. Listen, there's a possibility the the moment that I I land into Tennessee. There's also why you got you you two <laughs> might be like on the side of the road by the, by the time. She's talking it's about regulators. I might film. Faith and I might might roll up Tim and all of us. We that might be my new. We crew. might yeah. round up. <laughs> I, I I think though, like me and Warren G. I've never met the man, but I think we're going to be Fucking holding right. this drink all night long and going, oh yeah, yeah, it's fine, um, but never finishing it. <laughs> no, yeah, this is a great drink, and I never finish it. So huh. at the end of the night, it's wow. still sitting there. He, Warren G. just looks at you and is like, let's go to a club. Put this drink down, let's go to a club. <laughs> what, are we, like, what are we doing here? Wow. Right. Right. I, I like it. Yeah, we just pulled a, a, a micro sip of, of this uh, Cafe Amaro from Rieger's. I'll, 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 <clears throat> and, uh, it's incredible. Holy smokes. There's so oh, much going on. On the nose, it almost smells citrusy. It's listed as a bittersweet coffee liqueur. Yeah. And... And on 100%. the palate, there's a touch of um, what's the taste that you get from uh, Jaeger? Yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is that? Kind of that black liquor, the black, black liquor green or black liquor? Yeah, yeah. yeah the, the black liquor. There's a touch. There's a touch of that. Oh, Did yeah. yours give you that? No, no. I, no. Ours, ours is like a sweet coffee. Sweet ours coffee. is rum based. There's definitely like a half and coffee. Based. There's uh, a half so and you're... half kind of a flavor yeah, yeah, yeah. that comes with it. I mean, I mean it's it's a bitter coffee, yeah. but then there's a, a half and half sweetness that, that comes like a 
like a sweet cream. Uh-huh. Well, so I think the main difference with yours, and I could be totally off, but yours is an Amaro, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. So an Amaro is different from a typical liqueur. I think there's some um, botanicals in Amaros. I think, yeah, there, there are yep. botanicals yep. in this. Well, there isn't necessarily in just a typical liqueur, like a coffee liqueur. So you might be picking up on the more Mr. botanicals in that. The Mr. Black coffee liqueurs are also a Amara. So uh, there, yeah, there's a Mr. Black Amaro, and then there's the Mr. Black, the uh, cold brew, yes, right? Yes, yes, Yeah, so I'm curious about that one that you're trying there. I bet that's really good. It's amazeballs. It's, it's really... Yeah. I'm going to be sipping on this by itself. Right. Yeah. That's a breakfast whiskey. Yeah. We have a couple different Amaros in the, maybe the cabinet here. We've got a chamomile one and a, a citrusy one. But a coffee one, I think, would be really great. This so. with the Buffalo Trace uh, bourbon cream. Oh, I bet interesting. That would be top notch. Hmm. Top notch. Done. Right. Yep, Mr. Yep. God. Hmm. I'll let you guys know Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah. I'll be at work. You'll be sipping. Mississippi side sipping. Sipping on the scissor. Mm -hmm. Timothy. Mm -hmm. Sipping. What? T T Timothy? That's a damn funny, Chandler. I'm just living in all, all the pop culture references. Like okay. The moment okay. that I'm like... Oh, like, it, it's been hard to rein it all in tonight. We're like, don't... Don't... We, we keep hitting the mute on the <laughs> microphones and having side conversations. <laughs> so, like, they are death metal, hard rock, and I'm, like, gangster rap and uh, hip-hop. Okay. So... Like, one of the things that, like, is hard for me is, like... Is, uh, maybe it's not hard, but it's, like, podcasting, like, you learn patience. Like, it's just, like, I'll just shut up and just let <laughs> you can't like, though you're on a podcast but like no but like everybody else is like bit like it, everyone is so e like equally funny and like has so like great okay. takes so, sometimes so you gotta sit back then and it's right just like why like listening to everyone like throw something out and like whether it is gangster rap that like i was not expect expecting or <laughs> a blues brothers reference that i wasn't expecting but like we've mentioned blues brothers uh -huh. at some point in this episode again please listen you see you don't even remember you i really don't, don't yeah we mentioned blues brothers at some point in this episode all right all right so if you like listen wow. to this ep full episode so full far episode there's been this bonus episode whatever he's over there having religious moment after religious moment i mean i'll tell he's you chugging, he's chugging the a little, cafe a little extra here with the uh, video conferencing, you know, sitting on camera all day at work and then sitting on camera with friends and then trying to drink, it is hard to not talk over somebody. So in the room, you can kind of see if somebody's getting ready to say something, but uh, over the camera, you're like, uh, uh, no. And so you, you kind of hold back a little bit. This is where uh, you, you make the... the is this the start of the sister podcast or the secondary right. podcast? Where you right. <laughs> I, I came up with it during the break. It's going to be whiskey and records, okay. and we'll, we'll uh, whiskey and review records. a record and a whiskey. What'd you discover? Do, do the records more. need to pair with the? Needs more of that. Sure. Why not? I don't know. Well, listen. I'm, Give yourself like, a little bit more of this, like well, just. Right. A little bit. I'll Here, put more in glass. there, but right now I'm tr I was trying to like, like try and promote the whiskey and record right yeah. now. But, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. We also sell a lot of t-shirts. Try to do, <laughs> try to do cross promotion. <laughs> Double silent turtles or silent, <laughs> silent turkeys, cross silent like turtles, silent turtle. <laughs> yeah. Turtles. What the heck is that? Cross cross promotion like. With arms wide open, <laughs> and there's Creed again. Like I thought so, so we had to do with turkeys, right? Why are there turtles? Why are there turtles? turtles? It's so oh. weird. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> well, I want to be on that podcast. <laughs> Look it's, at this photograph. I thought they were turkeys, silent turkeys. <laughs> I know, but I mi I misspoke, and that's okay. what happened. 
That that makes it even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> what did the turtle say on the side of the road? Nothing. Nothing. Because <laughs> he was dead. Yeah. It was dead. <laughs> Listen, that, I don't know if that joke it lands as as well as. <laughs> it would to... if you've listened to this podcast in its entirety. Yeah, if you listen to this podcast since the beginning, I probably already brought up. Listen, that... I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, Faith. If you if you can make the the silent turtles joke la- land uh-huh. while you're on tour. I will give you the story. If you get to the point where all of a sudden, like, you're telling the turkeys and then turn it into turtles, I'm like, and all of a sudden, like, you're like, and then there were silent turtles, and everybody looks around and they're like, oh, oh, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I don't know that I can I'm like, make anything land. I'm not funny. <laughs> she, they're like, holy moly, like, she, she's got it. She's got it. And I will say the same thing. I'm like, I was like, I, that was it. If you sign up for the KC Kid Comedy Workshop, yeah. you could be funny one day. You, too, could be a KC Kid Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. For as little as $1 a month. The, the KC- See your friends laugh at the silent turtle. <laughs> the, the KC Kid. <laughs> It's a roadside attraction. <laughs> like you're driving down Highway 70. They're Ripley's just a sign. Or not bought it. See yeah. the silent turtle. But really, it's a turkey pretending to be a turtle. Yeah. Right. You start painting over all it's the Merrimack Tavern farm. A turkey and a half. Shell. <laughs> <laughs> a half well, shell. it's a, it's a it's a turkey dinner power. it's a dinner turkey. Turkey power. It's not even a live turkey. It's a kung fu turkey. <laughs> With a shell on it. Yes. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. It's like the curveball skull with the Weber grill <laughs> lid. It's a. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get drunk on that right away with yeah. the turtle shell over it. I would totally buy that sticker. Welcome with to no context. Welcome to Tim and Steve. No. Home shell. of the. Home of the. A cooked turkey with the turtle shell. <laughs> the turtle. I honestly feel Turkle. like that's how you sell like most of your stuff is like if you can make it really like it's like you had to be there. You have to listen to the episode like that mm-hmm. episode. If you can get to mm-hmm. that episode and the silent tur- the silent turkey <laughs> part, oh my gosh. The silence of the turkey. That's hel- hilarious. Oh my gosh. Did you just say silence of the yeah. turkey? <laughs> yes, ma'am, I did. It puts the lotion in no, it. No, it puts the shell on its <laughs> It, it makes the butter, the butter on, on its skin. Its skin. Oh. It does this whenever it's roasted. It puts the oranges in its carcass. You have no idea the hell I can bring you. <laughs> I'd fuck me. Wait. <laughs> I'd baste me. Yeah. I'd baste me so hard. I might baste myself later. <laughs> This is a family show. Whoa, family show, family show. Wow. We've hit on a lot here tonight, guys. Never mind the uh, little checkbox that's, is this explicit? Um. Right, Right. is this this for kids? (laughs) Uh, No. It's also not for parents either. (laughs) I like this cocktail. Who's got the rating ready? Me, Mr. W two. Uh, seriously, if if Riegers is is in the area, has a spell smell now, and you find the Cafe Amora, pick it up. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I will. It is wonderful. I haven't seen that, but we've seen a few of the other offerings, but I haven't seen that one yet. It was thirty bucks. Oh, that's not bad. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I've been down to the downtown Riegers bar. I have not made it over to the actual. Riggers Distillery, which is over by Knuckleheads, East Bottoms. They have recently opened up a new high-end cocktail bar called the Hey Hey. Hmm. Hey Hey. Just like that. And, yeah, it's supposed to be an amazing bar. But the distillery has a corkscrew uh, slide from their fourth floor down to ground level. Dude, that's fun. I don't know. If I've been drinking, I want nothing to do with spinning. Or maybe you do. Or maybe I do. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, n- now I see where Henry gets it. <laughs> You're going to have fun, whether it makes you sick or not. I mean, it's a, it's a metal slide. As long as you don't, like, roll out like the Boston policeman, like, like... 
it, it, it's straight that's up the only thing that it, it is straight up west bottom haunted house metal corkscrew slide never is been. it is the j is the j rigger in electric park uh yes it's down in the, the east bottoms you got questions google's got answers all right i'm done, <laughs> I'm done. Well, I was hoping that we trans <laughs> transition guitars would pull out and we just do regulate by Warren G and just call, we it, could. call it good. We, yes, we could. I'm gonna go get it now. Getting, I do have the single of I Shot the Sheriff yeah. by Warren G. Yeah. Sang there's, by Warren G. There's a single of. Oh yeah. There's a 12 inch. Yeah. Well. It's pretty great. Well, there's actually. that. Like you have it. Yes. On vinyl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Correct. No shit! Wow. So there's that. Yeah, this is pretty cool. The, and the, uh, you should. This is where you. Pro, this is where you promote whiskey and 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 records. And records. Like yeah. You yeah. Say, hey, listen. Like, oh, your 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 side podcast. Okay. Uh, listen, I'm. With the turkey turtle. If you put it turtles again, the sister podcast. If you do savor the burn and then media and just. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> add on to it. Well, looky there. Holy shit. How about that? Yeah, well, I guess you did say 12 inch. For whatever reason, you said 12 inch, and my mind shrank it down to like, you know, the little the little pint size yeah. singles. Oh yeah, yeah. Smaller ones. Oh, yeah. One dollar. One fucking dollar. Not surprised by that at all. That's like a severe lack of respect. Dare you? Well, I mean, the singles you got. It also does say promotional, not for sale. That's kind of funny. That should have been way more than a dollar. Like that's you have that the uh, so good. Like that's I a, shot the sheriff EPMD radio remix. The I shot the sheriff original radio edit. Yeah. The I shot the sheriff EPMD instrumental. Yeah. The I shot the sheriff that's instrumental. Insane. So that's that's, insane. that's for radio stations. Yeah. Period. Yeah. If yeah. We were to use that yeah. on air. Yeah. Yeah. Assuming it's been censored, but. Yeah. Well, and yeah, I radio edit means it's radio different. edit. Yeah, it would be so, the sense. I want to say we may have even bought this in Kansas City. I think oh. we did. At that, um, at that like. Is that recycled weird. sound? Maybe. It was like a. No, it's like a weird. Uh, it wasn't Second and Charles. It, it was like they had video games and comics and. Yeah, I don't remember. We got a Fishbone record there for like a buck too. No, forty nine cents. Forty nine cents. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. FYE or no? It was or uh, vintage vintage stock. Vintage stock. It was like a secondhand no. shop, and there's one not too far from your house, actually. Yeah. Vintage stock. But they don't. I have, think it was vintage stock. Yeah. Was it vintage stock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, you said video games, and I, I for whatever reason my my brain started flashing pictures of arcade games. No, like so no um, arcade, arcade home, games, home. just like old yeah. video game cartridges and yeah, old cartridges yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But that was also like six, six years, years ago. ago. It was when we were in town for your wedding. That was when I married Wayne. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the the weirdest thing. I was at the wedding. As George How K. Were? Yeah. How oh did we How did we not cross oh paths? I don't know. Huh. We were there too. I was not dancing it up. I was not invited. We performed the wedding. And I, I officiated the wedding. So you had to have looked at him at least once. You saw him. See, this were you is, drunk already at no, that point? No. See, this is this is where. Uh oh. <laughs> this is KC kids coming this is, out. This is when it, this is when it goes bad because like I showed up late. Okay. Yeah. So okay. So now I, the real story. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't get to the roof part. Like I was. Uh, oh. Yeah, like, so yeah, you just yeah. came in Boy, for like the photo yeah. booth. I was in the photo booth. I was definitely in the photo booth. In the open bar. Yeah. And the band. And the band. I can't wait to, I can't wait to, to go back. Oh, to the he was definitely there for the band. I can't, I can't wait to go through the photo booth part, and all of a sudden there's photos of like all, all three of us wait, just hanging out. Like, oh my gosh, that so cool. There's, there's we pictures were. of us singing. So, okay. Wait, we we all, need to go back through those sing. pictures. We had a live band at, at our okay. reception. It That's was cool. What about the family photo at the bar at yeah. the end of the night? I, yeah, I've seen it. Like, I was... I was in some spot, but I was in some spot. Yeah, <laughs> no, I remember seeing it from afar, but I was not in it. Oh, like, I don't think, but you weren't in the photo. I don't think I was. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, was that we went in across the street cool somewhere with the Mitch? Lee Summit. Lee Summit. Okay. Where did we go? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah. Let's yeah. do it again. We'll just throw okay. it over again. Come. 
Done. And I could marry him this time. I'm, I'm, I'm and you can enjoy the show because I'm, I'm ordained too. So. I can marry myself at this point because I'm also. Wait. Yeah. I am no. also <laughs> not pulling a De- Dennis Rodman on it. <laughs> Do I, Wayne <laughs> Allen Wilkes? Wagon maker. Take myself. Wagon maker. <laughs> um. Is that allowed in Missouri or Kansas? Or There's a lot of things that are allowed <laughs> in Missouri. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Should we renew our vows for no. our 21st wedding no. anniversary? Yeah, 21 years. Wow, that's amazing. Coming up on 21. 21. Yeah. We're old. Yeah, when is it? When? February. February. Yeah, when is it? When is it? I don't know. February. I didn't know when theirs was. And I, I did. Performed I know. The ceremony. <laughs> it's the day after Valentine's Day because we can't remember right. a damn thing. So. Google tells me these things that I need to know. Same. Girl, same. <laughs> have we done rankings? Have we finished this up? No, we, we have not done rankings. <laughs> oh, shit. On Gee, this, on, this, uh, on the revolver. Because yeah. okay, I was going to ask for something else, and then I realized oh, as God. I was asking it. <laughs> We're up to we five have, hours. That we have not done a ranking yet. We have not done the ranking yet for the revolver. Let's I, do it. I did well, ask earlier if you guys were if you guys had your your your, uh, yeah, your rankings yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah, and that was yes. fifteen. Okay, Very thousand cool. hours ago, fifteen years ago, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was. I was, gonna ask, it's cause, like, I was a younger my ride, man. My ride's about to. Uh, you can head start us off direction. if you want. No, well, because I haven't. Not, no, not yet. But like, I was gonna, just give me a second. Okay. But I was gonna ask for like a time's up. A exit. Whiskey sour. That's what I was gonna ask for. Oh, oh. Like if there's a way that I could get. I was gonna ask the bartender if there was like a closing time whiskey sour that I could possibly get. You want me to well, make you a whiskey sour? Yeah, He's got Demerara. Do you have lemon? But like, can I have every. Yeah, I'm it's good. Okay. Anyway, so that's what I was gonna <laughs> ask for. But like, that's not, uh, can like, can want. we? Can we? Let's close this out. Yeah. Yes. Let's do this. And you guys are an hour ahead of us, so. It's one thirty a.m. What? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> so, and I think yeah. Faith so was what? up at like four thirty or I five. No five. Yeah. But I, re- I, I really, I, I really want to like if we can match, find a time when I'm doing the when I'm <clears throat> riding the Bourbon Trail. I would love to meet up with you guys. It's Please, been, yes. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like being a part of this. I know that like you two would have had this experience. Yeah. Without me, but like. For me to be along for the ride. All you gotta with, do is uh, find the cute liquor store guy. Yeah. And he'll know exactly where to find her. Yeah. And he'll be right. with her. So and Tim yeah. will be with, with, with yeah. Faith, so yeah. you'll be good. Yeah. It's yeah. true. Yeah. We're only three hours from the bourbon trail. I show so. up okay. I show up looking we'll at him like you're cute. I'm not that cute, but like are <laughs> yeah. you that are you, are you that cute? cute? Liquor guy? And then he's like, Let me line you up with the rest of, like I'm gonna line every yeah. all the rest of the guys and I'm like, like the oh, old school crap. police line. <laughs> Holy crap. You're ugly, yep. but you ain't that ugly. Yeah. <laughs> like everybody else is pretty ugly. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm just gonna See? be real with you. Chandler gets it. <laughs> like you're pretty cute. <laughs> Finding a, How about that nose? Yeah. yeah, you're like a Kansas City five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So you're, you're, a, you're a Kansas City oyster five. Oyster. Like yeah, I've, I've seen better oysters and you're in, a fountain uh, oyster five. Yeah, I've seen a lot of fountain oysters around here. You are you are okay. On the nose, I gave it a four <laughs> four and a quarter. How about you? I gave it a three and a half. Three and a half? You weren't you weren't impressed by the nose? You're like yeah yeah. There was a good aroma to it, but. Mm-hmm. Better than average. Yeah. How about you, Tim? I went with the three. Um, the predominant nose was the orange, and it was fine. Citrusy, but, fine. Yep. Yeah. yeah, not bad. Not. Bleh. How about you, uh, Chandler? I'm gonna go three and a half. Three and a half. I, li- I like the orange. Like, orange is nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Faith. I went five because I really enjoyed the orange. <laughs> Acceptable. I yep. loved this it. Is, this is everybody's individual. Nobody has to agree with, with everybody. Yeah. If I could live in, if I could have Faith's no, nose, I'd probably be smelling things I've never smelled in my life before. <laughs> like, I, like I just, that's the thing that I've, I've learned today, is that my nose is subpar at, so, <laughs> at best. But here's the thing. I smell things. I just don't necessarily always know what I'm smelling. I'm that way with that the, with sense. the whiskeys and the bourbons. I'm definitely yeah. that way. I feel like with we, 
I like you, my nose is on the complete opposite. I know what I'm smelling, but it's. it's <laughs> <laughs> Tim has a bad like nose, it. and our cat has a bad nose, so I get it. I live with non-smellers. Okay. So, so you, I got some friends that like have some high high frequency noses, mm-hmm. where they're just like, just like what? That's tangy in my nose. And I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> How about the palate, Mr. WT? What you got? Four and a quarter. Mm. I gave it a four and a half. I was like, this is damn good. I enjoyed it, especially that. Especially when I, I enjoyed added, the hell out of it. I added the extra dose of the Cafe Amaro. That put it over the top? I, yeah, that's what did it. That That's what gave it the four and a half. I don't think you have to double it, but you do have to do maybe 50% more according to the recipe, whatever the recipe was so maybe three okay. three quarters instead of a half yeah yeah maybe okay maybe uh or maybe Chandler, a full ounce what'd you give it on the palate yeah i was gonna ask if if tim could help guide me guide guide me on this all thing. right what you got just let, let me know what you might not is. like his answer yeah i i was harsh on this um i went with a one on the palate oh, holy the crap palette. i'm not doing that i just what, what my got man you, what got I you thought, it's one. still sitting here I mean there's there's <laughs> oh, this much left I thought I'm we were to go- drink it but I've drank too much tonight guys I'm I, I'm okay. uh I thought we were gonna get a healthy three and I was like I was like okay that sounds so safe no nah, I it's it's going down the drain for what, me what brought you to the one <laughs> you know like it it's the, the coffee, coffee liquor on its own was fine the Russell's 10 on its own was great I like oranges but somehow all of that together resulted in a flavor that I just did not like. Um, I couldn't drink it. it. It was hard to drink. Couldn't finish it. Um, it's a drain pour for me. Wow. All right. Whoa. Bold statement, Cotton. Whoa. Wow. Tim wow. ain't playing around. Like, wow. right. like right. if there's anything. Hey, it's game, late game and the face. truth is coming out. It is. Game, yeah, yeah. How about you, Faith? What did you come up with? I gave it a four. A four? Yeah, it's not the best cocktail I've ever had, but I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, you wouldn't turn it down. Not gonna no, run out. Not you might at all. even run out and buy the T-shirt. I would absolutely buy the T-shirt. And if there was a sticker, yeah. All right. And a and a stamp. How about uh, how about you, Chandler? Where are you at? Uh, I'm gonna do a two point eight five. What eight, is that? Eight five. Yes. <laughs> what is that? Those are numbers. Two point eight two five. Hey, that else. is how he feels. 2.85? I did 7.5. Like, what's wrong with 7.5? I did another... I don't... I mean... Like, like, I mean... 2.75, okay. 2.875, okay. So it's more than 7.5, but less than 9. So I'm so confused by how I just got judged by this number that I just yeah. put out. It's Eight. a legitimate number on the yeah. scale of numbers. Yeah, and I don't understand what I... Well, you're 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 in between three quarters and seven eighths. What did you prefer yeah. me to yeah. do? I'm just you no. Know, you do you. Doesn't Boo. sound like I do it. <laughs> like it sounds like you, <laughs> sounds like you judging. No, it's just this is unprecedented. It's just We've math. We've never had a, an in, a, it's a point math. Five. Okay, it, it's math. F it. Two point eight three. Hey, don't <laughs> change you. <laughs> it's math. Two point eight three. How about, how about you like that? How you, you like mean, them numbers? If how you like them apples? If you're good with two point eight three. If you're good with math. Two point eight three. You make it whatever you want. I'm gonna Love start it. making it more difficult than you've ever seen before. <laughs> oh. Two point one 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 three seven six five four three two one. So Chandler, you might you now it? be Tim's favorite person on the planet. Well, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> thank you, Tim. So uh, with the uh, the two point eight three on the palette, what did you give it for the finish? Whatever, <laughs> finish. Why you gotta do me like this? Huh? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Why you gotta be like that? King of the I'm numbers. <laughs> I'll come back to you. I so I, there's a part where I was using the barometer of like Tim to like kind of help guide mm-hmm. me. Right now, it sounds like that barometer is a little bit like I'm out on, uh, out on my own yeah. island right so now. So right yeah, now, the you're on your own on this. Took, you're you're in finished town right now, right on your on your palate is gone to finish. So get the number in your head and hold it. We'll ask Tim, what was your number on the finish, Tim? I, I stuck with the one. The uh, finish didn't improve from the palate, and I'm sorry to not help anybody out on that. But so what was your number? The one. Tim said one. 
I had two. Two. Okay. Oh. Okay. Which is fair because it's. If you're not a coffee drinker. Yeah, this could be agony. So I'm probably gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do because of Wayne. I'm gonna do a two point one five. I love it. Okay, <laughs> two point one five. Movie interesting. Speaking of Wayne, what'd you give it on the finish? Well, on finish, I gave it a three and three quarters. All right, all right. I can see that. Did I already say mine? Three and three quarters? That <laughs> number? What kind of number is that? What the heck is that? What'd you give it? Just making up things. Joe Nathan? I gave it a four and a half. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, 4.5 wow. for those paying attention in, in math town. Um, <laughs> how about you, Faith? Where are you at? I'm going to say 3.62. Oh, cut from the same cloth. Okay. Not a 3.625. Preach. Six, two, five. Preach. Say that. Say, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. wait. Lying because that is not what she wrote wait, down. Say that number again. Say that number again. 3.62. I like that. That sounds, that's a sexy number right there. Legit. All right. All right. <laughs> that's the sexy, sexiest number I've ever heard. I don't know. It life. sounds Ray Town as fuck to me. How about it's, presentation? You know what? Ray Town or bust. Okay. Roll up. Mount up. Regulators. Ray Town? <laughs> <laughs> With say, I, I, I. <laughs> Coming from the Midwest. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What about presentation? That's where I'm at. Would with, with a that looks like a five to me. I gave it a four and a half. Four and a half. All right. All right. Miss Faith, what did you give it? I wrote down four, but I'm inclined to say three point nine nine eight two seven. Three point nine nine eight two seven. You guys are killing me. <laughs> yeah. What's what I'm feeling. Government? They can choose it if they wish. It does round up to four, but, you know, whatever. It's just not quite four. I get it. Tim? I, I give the presenter an 11 out of 10, but the presentation of the drink... That's me. I put the two. Um, it's a weird color for me. I don't like coupe glasses. Um, I don't know. The orange is all rolled up weird. So I went with the two. I believe we have a fuddy duddy in our midst. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest fuddy duddy. Guys, I can't even. No, like, honestly, <laughs> I would give it a zero all across the board, but I'm trying to, like, help and, and be positive about it. I'm trying to find the good things. Don't be positive. You like what you like and you hate be what you real. hate. I, I can put my number into the mix here. I think the presentation overall, like, I, I'll give it um, I'll give it a four. Garnishes and stuff like that, I think I... It's one of those things that I just don't know, like, utility. I'm not sure what to do with it. And I, like, look at that one. And sometimes it's like when you put the orange into the, like, the actual glass. Like, I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, I get it. This one, I don't know if, like, was I supposed to take the orange and, like, put it all... Swirl it all around so I could get that taste or something. So, like, that's just one of those questions that, like, I don't like no and i don't know if you like what your th- thoughts are on wayne because like it felt like you were doing a lot of work and then all of a sudden i just like missed the mark of like utilizing it so that that would be my question but other than that like i'll give it four I'm- all right solid four even well um tim what's your total uh doing the math my total was a three and a half <laughs> All right, and I, I I feel like I'm defending the three and a half, but I feel like that's high for me actually, because there's so many other great cocktails that I would I would rather have than this. I I wouldn't order this again. All right, but three and a half is where I landed. But you tried it. At least you know that you don't like it. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. How about you, W two? What do you got? I landed on eight. Solid eight, right there. I gave it a uh, a nine point one two five. Was wow. that nine and an eighth? One two five. Yeah. That's yeah. eight. Yep. How about you, Faith? I gave it a eight point three seven five. All right. Is that with all your two point nine nine eight two seven and your three point six two? No, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's lightning though. She, she didn't follow her own math. <laughs> I did not. She rounded up. I rounded. My eyes lightning. Okay. 
Hey there, little missy. Yeah? Do you like math? I actually hate it. Girl, same. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so where'd you... Where'd you, where'd you what, what's, your, what's your total, Mr. Chandler? Um, it is actually a 6.24. So the jury is split on this one. Either... Yeah. Or, uh, and I think it has to do with the coffee. Mm-hmm. That's all right. It's not. It's not like it or love it, or love it or hate it. It's like, yeah, or mm, kind of weird. I liked it. Mister W two liked it. I liked it. Uh, I liked or, it. Yeah, yeah. Faith liked it. But the winners prevail. Tim and I are like right there with. But these other oddballs. It's true. <laughs> but it looks like Chandler liked it. It's a little above I'm, average. It's above average, but so, like. I, again, the presentation sold it a lot more. Yeah. So it helped b- put push that over the edge. I probably have a little bit more questions, like in the same thing with Tim. Not necessarily the color, but just like what do you do? Excuse me. What do you do with the garnish? Or what do you do with like kind of like setting certain things up? Well, if you leave it here on the rim as you drink it and, and the garnish hits the nose, you get more of a uh, That's a probably citrus. fair. A citrus uh, mm-hmm. experience with it. You drop it in there; uh, it, it pulls the citrus out of the nose and onto the palate. Well, I wrote I wrote down here a surprisingly divisive cocktail. The bourbon forward revolver stunned us, divided us, and really made us think about what we like, love, and hate about this cocktail. Enjoy at your own risk. Just like the nineteen late nineteen nineties. Like you don't know, you don't know what you're about yeah. to get. Late '90s, you had uh, Rob Zombie on a solo tour. You had uh, Columbine. You had uh, Y2K coming up quick. Rob Thomas singing Third Eye Blind songs. No, no, not Six A.M. Three A.M. Six A.M. Three A.M. Yeah, it's not Six A.M. Sorry. Matchbox Twenty. Matchbox Twenty. There yeah, yeah. Oh man, it's a real back. Fiona Apple sing, singing criminal. No, throwback is what you're supposed to do with curveball. Oh, right. Throw right. Yeah, throw it back. <laughs> I've been a Smooth bad, bad criminal. boy. <laughs> well, dear listener, if you hung out with us for this damn long, hopefully you have enjoyed this bonus episode of Savor the Burn podcast. Please, for the love of God, check out savortheburn.com. Check out the um, the liquor cabinet. And the, the cocktail pages. Uh, send us an email, info at savortheburn.com. Send Wayne an email, w2 at savortheburn.com. Send send me, Jazzy Zig, a, uh, an email at jonathan <laughs> at savortheburn.com. If you want to send Chandler an email, how do they do that? Uh, you can find me at chandler at kalimazoo.com, which is K-A-L-I-M-I-Z-Z-O-U.com, or follow me at... Kalamazoo, which is K A L I M I Z Z O U. Dot com. No, that's Instagram. Follow yeah. me. That's not possible. Because right, you could, right, right. you could that's go to my. The handle. You were right, though. I'm so sorry. You could go to my website at Kalamazoo. Dot com. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Dubs. And uh, <laughs> no matter who you are, where you are, what you're nursing your your headache, a hangover from, always remember. Chandler will return.